KMTV has been front and center reporting on the streets in Omaha where the pavement has broken down. Beneath it, bumpy dirt roads. When developers began building in those neighborhoods decades ago, they decided just to slap down asphalt. And now that asphalt is cracking and failing in many spots. Senior reporter Jake Wasikowski has been tracking the latest developments for months, and he's live for us. Jake? Guys, the city council and public works department have been dealing with this issue for years. The city asked them to actually figure out how many of these roads are out there. Well, tomorrow the city council will find out, plus try to figure out what to do about them. Deteriorating asphalt roads. They're bumpy, muddy, and they're everywhere. When some subdivisions were built decades ago, the unimproved roads weren't constructed up to city standards. Developers put down asphalt that doesn't last. Now they are broken down and full of potholes. The city says they're so bad they can't be fixed and need to be rebuilt. Public Works indicates there are about 350 miles of unimproved alleys, neighborhood streets, and arterial roads. I would think it's safe to say we're going to be over $250 million for the, the alleys and the neighborhood streets that we're talking about. Now some of the other streets are already programmed and they're into the, the, the budgeting and the CIP. And the... the city doesn't have a funding source for these streets, but say whatever is decided homeowners who live on them would have to pay their part of the cost. Almost all city council members have said they had streets in dire need in their districts. My question is going to be where do we start and where do we stop? Um, how, how much of this are we going to do that we're going to share the cost? Chester Black lives on an unimproved road near 78th and Hickory. He says he doesn't want his cul-de-sac fixed because it would cost him too much. The city said they would charge the homeowner by frontage foot and it would cost between fifteen and twenty thousand dollars for me to uh, have the street improved. No decisions will be made tomorrow, but again, the city council will hear just how many of these roads there are, how much it might cost, and possibly how they could pay for it. Now, one option, it's unclear if it'll be used, but one option is for neighborhoods to form a street improvement district if they want their roads fixed. We're putting live outside City Hall in downtown Omaha, Jake Wisikowski, KMTV Action 3 News. Up to two decades behind bars for